Welcome to Vegan Finds, where tonight's dinner, we're going to go from this to this. So what we have here is what's called chicken of the woods mushrooms. And we're going to take the chicken of the woods mushrooms and we are going to make fried chicken. And we are also having with our fried chicken, chicken and waffles. So I am going to make a cornmeal waffle that is both vegan and gluten free. And we are going to bread and deep fry our chicken of the woods. So let's get started. Okay. So in my bowl, I have one cup of Bob's Red Mill, one for one, one cup of cornmeal, half a teaspoon of baking soda and two teaspoons of baking powder that I sifted and now we're going to eat what add the wet ingredients to. So I have my buttermilk which I made which is one cup of soy milk, soy milk and uh, half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Thank you. A flax egg, which is one tablespoon of flax meal and three tablespoons of water. Ooh. Okay. Three tablespoons of coconut oil because I want them to be. Okay, I'm going to say the word moist. Two tablespoons of maple syrup. And then we have to add one teaspoon of um, vanilla. That's it. That's what I'm talking. That's that's what I'm thinking about. Would you like me to add that for you? Mm-hmm. And we just want to get this nice and smooth. There you go. Okay. Do you want a whisk? Yes, I would like a whisk. Okay, so this is it finely whisked together. Now you're going to use your favorite waffle iron, whatever that is in your house, um, and you're going to make your waffles using this batter. So we will show you what that looks like when the waffles are done. And until then, I will be making the fried chicken. Okay, so in our bowl right now, we have about one, one and a half cups of lupini bean flour. You could find lupini bean flour on Amazon, and I'm going to add some smoked paprika to that. Um, I'm just finishing that off, so that, that doesn't count as a measurement. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of celery salt, a little hot sauce or something. So we're going to add like two really heaping things of our secret chicken from Trader Joe's, the veganless chicken. And we're going to add a splash of Tabasco into that because this is going to become like a slurry that we're going to use to then coat the cornflakes that Stuart's prepping now. And then we're going to add um, half a cup of vegan buttermilk okay and then i will be right back okay so to get it to be thinner i actually had to add more almond milk so for that you're just going to want to play with it depending on if you're using the lupini bean flour or if you're using regular flour it's going to be different so what we're going to do is we're going to dip our chicken of the wood in our wet batter and then we're going to coat it and our cornflakes. They're not really cornflakes. Um, finding gluten-free cornflakes, well, let me rephrase that. Finding gluten-free vegan cornflakes was not happening today. So we're using corn shacks because they happen to be vegan and gluten-free. So 
So I'm going to bread these up and then I'm going to show you them. If you can find gluten-free cornflakes where you're at, I would recommend using the cornflakes. Um, if you can't, the corn the, the, the Chex works fine. And look at that. That actually looks like a chicken leg. So I've never actually had chicken in the woods. Um, we got these from a mushroom vendor at um, our local farmer's market. Noble Mushrooms. Noble Mushrooms. So a shout out to the people at Noble Mushrooms. Um, because chicken of the woods are very hard to come by. Unless you're lucky. Unless you're lucky. But I'm not suggesting anybody go out foraging. Actually, these don't have poisonous lookalikes. They don't have poisonous lookalikes, really? Really? I didn't know they're, that. They're actually very, they're actually very easy to find if you can find them. I mean, they stand out. They're big orange. He's not suggesting anybody go out and forage for mushrooms. <laughs> No, always go with an expert. Always go with an expert. If you're not an expert in foraging for mushrooms, don't do it. Oh, shit. I'm looking to become a mushroom farmer. That's what I want to do with the rest of my life. I want to become a mushroom farmer because... Yeah. So I actually want to be a mushroom farmer. Because I think it would be nice to harvest my own mushrooms. Have a little mushroom stand. To like. Clearly, we like using mushrooms on this channel. Because, you know. Okay. Oh, we're getting, it's looking good. All right. Okay, folks, so you know this part, right? We're heating our oil. But look at that plate filled with what looks like fried chicken. Come on. We're impressed, right? I'm impressed. So we're going to let our oil heat, and then we're going to start frying up some fried chicken. Okay, so as you can see, I've dropped our chicken of the woods, chicken fried chicken into the hot oil. We're gonna let these cook and I will show you the finished product when we are done. Did I turn it on? Yeah. Okay, so Stuart told me to inform everybody, depending on the size of your pieces, they're gonna cook about three to five minutes. So, they look really good. Look at that. Super golden crispy. Mm. Okay, so we'll be right back. So I found out something interesting because I didn't know this. I thought chicken and waffles was a southern thing. It's not. It originated in Harlem, New York. At, and it was made popular at a place called Tilly's. Tilly's Chicken Shack. And Chili's Chicken Shack and... Dickie Wells Jazz Nightclub. Dickie Wells Jazz Nightclub. And I didn't know that. Um... I did have amazing chicken and waffles in Philadelphia once, but I think that that's incredible. We can't seem to get outside of like the New York metro area for food, and I'm sorry about that. I don't know. Maybe we just have really, really good food in the Northeast. That's possible. Although, there is some dispute over where chicken and waffles was invented. Because there are people who are saying it was invented in the South. So, it's up for debate. So there are people apparently on the internet who say it's, it was invented in the South. We're just going to go with New York. Harlem. <laughs> We're going to go with that. Oh, okay. 
So actually, chicken and waffles is actually a favorite of my entire family because <laughs> Selena really likes it, which is shocking for <laughs> Selena. Yeah, for her to like. Anything. So we're going to show you the finished product and we'll be right back. Okay, so here's our finished product. Um, this obviously is going to the Bubba of the house because, you know, she yeah. gets first dips on most food. So I hope you like this recipe. If you like this recipe, hit the subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. It is, I repeat, not chicken. Chicken of the woods. Just so everybody understands. It's not actually meat. It's a meat shroom. It's a meat shroom. A meat shroom. Um, so hit the subscribe, share, like, comment. and comment. Follow us on Instagram at Vegan Fine and on Twitter at Vegan Fine. And we will see you next time. Thank you.